The ENOS partnership has been working for a number of years now on a project because we believe that outdoor sports bring real benefits to society. And one of the things that we want to do is to be able to showcase how those benefits can be realised. We also want to show how we can put genuine value on those benefits and to encourage uh, greater investment and interventions in outdoor sports by local and national agencies because the benefits are tangible and actually can be measured. The project that we're developing is called the BOSS project, Benefits of Outdoor Sports to Society. Uh, and as I say, we've been working on it for quite a few years now. The project involves a range of partners. I think we have 11 partners now in total. Uh, we've got partners from national agencies, so the CREPS here in Vallon Pond Dark, ourselves in Sport Northern Ireland. We've got policy makers from regional authorities, region Lombardia and Italy. We have got academic partners from the National Sports Academy in Bulgaria and from the National Centre for Training Teachers in Catalonia but also key partners of uh, Sheffield Hallam University in England and Technical University in Munich. And those partners will be the main partners carrying out the research for the project because they have particular skills in, in that. We've also got partners uh, from the European Outdoor Group, which is a, an industry-based organisation which caters for the manufacturing uh, of goods and materials for outdoor sports. And we have UCPA and Surf Club Vienna, which are very much the partners who are involved in the delivery of uh, outdoor sports at a grassroots level. So that partnership is very broad and it includes a wide range of organisations. Um, and that's one of the big advantages of this project. Quite often projects like this are done uh, only using academic partners, whereas because we're bringing together the academics with the actual users and the policy makers, it sets a very clear and broad agenda. So the, the, the project uh, will be uh, delivered through a series of four key work programmes. So the first work programme that we will undertake will be done by Technical University Munich and that is to look at all the projects across Europe that uh, have measured the social benefits of outdoor sports or have identified social benefits associated with outdoor sports. So they'll do some desktop research to find out uh, what projects have been written up that, uh, that highlight that. Um, the second phase of the project will be undertaken by uh, Sheffield Hallam and that is focused on actually developing a methodology that will allow us to provide a, an actual value against each of the social benefits. The value will be de determined in monetary terms, so in actual euros. So what are the social benefits that we're, we're thinking about measuring? They involve uh, social capital, so community cohesion, social inclusion, particularly for those who are socially isolated. They involve education, how do we gain, get young people uh, to engage better with natural environments? How can they learn about themselves in a better way? How do they work together in teams and, and develop that sense of self-esteem? Another aspect will be about youth uh, justice and crime prevention. Outdoor sports have been used extensively uh, to deliver projects that, are, uh, that, that help to reduce crime uh, in, in areas and also to improve uh, young people integrating into society who are potentially at risk of offending. Another aspect will be the environmental education uh, aspect of this project. So encouraging people to engage with natural environments, to feel uh, close to natural environments and protected, uh, that they want to protect those natural environments. So those are the sorts of things that we want to measure and we want to show how uh, those things can actually have economic value. The third aspect of the, uh, the, the project then will be to uh, look at how we test the model. So Sheffield Helm will develop a model to put value on it uh, and then we're going to test that. And, and we'll test that in each of the 11 partner countries through a range of projects. Each country will bring back five projects that potentially can be used for testing and we will, um, we will we'll carry out testing on about 12 out of those 50 to 60 uh, examples. And that will allow us to know whether the methodology can be applied in Bulgaria or in the UK or in France or in Germany and it allows us to make sure that the methodology works across Europe at a European level. 
Once that testing is complete, we will then uh, modify the methodology to make sure it, it is working and then we will start to communicate that effectively. And the fourth work package is about how we disseminate the knowledge that we have gained and disseminate that methodology effectively. And we're going to run seminars, training courses, uh, we'll produce journals, we'll produce a website. So there's a whole range of things that we're going to do to try and encourage more people to adopt this methodology. So why do all this? Well, the bottom line is that we want to see greater investment and interventions in sport and particularly outdoor sport. Currently, investment in sport is competitive. There's money going into all sorts of projects uh, to develop the economics, to develop social uh, change. But sport sometimes gets very much bottom of the pile. And we believe that sport can have a very positive impact. Um, and we want to showcase how that impact can make a difference in economic terms. Um, this project is unique. It has not been done before. Uh, it's, it, it, certainly it hasn't been done at a European level. It would allow us to develop comparable data across Europe. And we think that it will make a genuine difference to the level of interventions and investment put into sport in coming years. Uh, we think this project is so important that we have been actually working on it uh, despite not having any funding to do it and we will continue to work on it. We have applied to Erasmus Plus now uh, for support for the project and we're really hopeful that this will make a difference to being able to deliver the project effectively.